Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Michael, KB9VBR from jpoleantenna.com has sent over one of his jpoles for us to take a look at after he was on our Coffee and Ham Radio's live stream. We are going to be giving this away at Huntsville Ham Fest, which is very, very soon. Be sure to be on the lookout for how we're gonna give this away by watching Coffee and Ham Radio's Thursday nights, Saturday mornings. Let's put this antenna together. It came in two pieces because this is a big boy. It kind of looks like a trumpet. It is made out of copper plumbing pipe and soldered together. And Michael knows what he's doing when it comes to soldering pipes together. So it is soldered together very, very well. It is also designed so that you can assemble it right here with some screw on fittings. But overall, this thing is huge. I am six foot tall. This thing is as tall as I am. This is crazy. It has a SO239 connector on it and it is soldered directly on to the copper pipe. That takes some talent, my friends. Let's see what we can do about getting this thing installed. I'm gonna stick it on my camper and we're gonna try and make some contacts. I am down in a holler in Tennessee right now. So I have no idea what to expect. All right, let's take a look at what this thing looks like on the SWR graph on the 705 on two meters. Flat across the band, I love it. Two meters is a big band, let's keep checking. This is 147, the high side. Nice, and this is 144, the low side. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, we're getting some APRS traffic. Flat SWR on two meters, that's fantastic. I took it back down because I am in a holler and all I can get out here is APRS traffic. My nearest repeater is 34 miles away and it's probably up over that mountain behind me. I am inside my travel trailer. I am up high on Montesano Mountain, so I have a height advantage going for me. And then I have an inside the travel trailer disadvantage going for me. And then I'm on five watts on an HT. So I got a whole bunch of compromises going on here and I'm not opening the repeater at all. The repeater can't hear me, but as you just heard, I can hear the repeater. So I should be able to open the repeater like that. Let's be very pedantic and be absolutely vertical. And I'm not opening it at all. Kilo, Mike Nine Golf, testing the repeater. Nothing at all. So. What do we gotta do? I guess the right thing to do is to start removing disadvantages. I am now outside. I've still got the height elevation. I'm still on the HT. I'm still using the signal stick. The problem isn't the signal stick. The problem is compound compromises. Can I get it now? Oh, I got it that time. So that was two tries. First try didn't work. Second try did work. Kilo, Mike Nine Golf, testing the repeater. Anybody got a copy? So the repeater tail comes back, but it's kind of this 50-50 shot. What do we need? We need a better antenna. Right, this is one of those things that as a ham radio operator costs a ton of money, but then you will have every single one of them and they will be absolutely worthless in resale value, but you still need them. This is a SO239 to SMA male adapter. And that gets me from my coax, which is attached to that J-pole antenna I just showed you, onto my radio. That's attached, let's get this detached. And there are a variety of ways to do this. This is just the, uh, the quick setup that I have right now for this demo. But ultimately I would like to just use my BNC adapter that's on here and a BNC adapter on here. We will ham harder and get this done. I also did not bring my SMA torque wrench. So again, compromises. All right, we are all connected, does it work? All right, that's try one. That's try two. Kilo, Mike Nine Golf. Let's try three. So the real strength of an antenna like this would be in a base station inside of your ham shack in your house, maybe for full-time APRS monitoring, maybe for two meter wind link, maybe for opening up farther distant repeaters than you can with just a regular mag mount. This would be something that I would use for a much more permanent install. I just don't happen to have a house anymore. So I can't do that because I am full time on the road, but it works great with some zip ties on the ladder on the back of my travel trailer. So that is also an option for me if I ever decide to do a lot more two meter work while I'm on the road from inside the trailer. Kilo Mike Nine Golf testing the repeater, KM9G. Anybody out there? And then there's the other problem with repeaters. Sometimes they're really busy, sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're not so good. 
KM9G, KM9G, testing the repeater. Anybody out there? Anybody got a copy? The KB9 VBR J-Pole antenna, you can get this online. There will be a link in the description down below where you can find this fantastic antenna. You can also win this antenna by coming up to us at the Huntsville Ham Fest this Saturday. Join us at the Von Braun Center, Coffee and Ham Radio's live stream from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. as we cover all things Huntsville Ham Fest related. And that is the time frame when you can win this antenna. Come up and give us the phrase that pays, which is Go Badgers. And it is yours. You got to be the first one there. You got to be present to win, but that's kind of a minor ask for such an awesome antenna. Check out the link below. These things are fantastically affordable. He's got a couple of different varieties. There is a video right here. I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.